Welcome back to another episode of the White Sox March to October. Episode 5 now, it feels like we're flying through these. And we've got what seems to be a pretty big one today, at least this first moment. Because Luis Robert is definitely a big piece of this team. And he's already playing solid. If we look at more full stats here, he's got his average up so far, still striking out a lot. But he's driving in runs, drawing walks, doubles. And if we can get some boost to that in this player lock, that might be kinda huge. So we got the Royals to face off against here. We're still trying to fend off the Twins in the early part of the year. They're only one game back. But let's go ahead, let's try and get Luis Robert a huge boost here. Well, as teams do these days, Luis Robert is being honored in tonight's bobblehead giveaway. Well, Matt, if there's anybody on this team who you'd want in your bobblehead collection, it's maybe this guy because, let's face it, he deserves to have a big head. He brings so much to this club. <laughs> I agree with you, Dan. And there's no bigger superstar to these fans. Let's hope he can give them a thrill or two in this one tonight and say thanks for them coming out. Luis Robert bobblehead night, apparently. I'd love to go to one of those. I'd love to go to any baseball game, and I forgot to turn off the fielding again. Dang it. All right, here we go. First at bat, we got a lefty to face. I wouldn't say Luis Robert's really stronger against lefties or righties. He's kind of equal. Oh, no. Oh, what happened there? I saw that was a hanger. But I think I recognized it too late. I think I thought that was going to break too far inside at first. Alright, let's try and do something better. We're down three also. Oh my god, what am I looking for? <laughs> what did I see that made me not want to swing with two strikes? Alright, well third at bat here. Danny Duffy's got a shutout going. That one's going to drop in there. Hopefully he makes it to second. Oh, you got it! It's not even... <sighs> So that's not even going to be a hit. Just a fielder's choice. 0 for 3. What is going on? I, I didn't talk through that whole thing, but I'm stealing because it's a 3-2 count, 2 outs. So of course Luis Roberts going to make it to third. Why is Vaughn going to second? It's two outs just thrown away by the CPU. Man, I can't I can't let that go after what happened in the first at bat. And he's been throwing high and inside sliders to me the whole game, and now we're 0 for 4. That is a very, very frustrating way to start off this episode. Oh my god. So is this just gonna be a thing for this March to October? I'm just, any player boost mission, I'm gonna not boost the player. One run on 12 hits. I mean, we know why. Apparently, we're just running ourselves off the bases. Alright, back to pretty much neutral momentum. That shouldn't be... That shouldn't be giving us any wins. So I guess we're just gonna lose because, of course, the White Sox aren't gonna win. I mean, it's not like they're a good team. It's not like we're placed in the contender category all right well we've dropped the division to the twins but it seems like this key moment is all about retaking the division lead but you know what it kind of dawned on me i feel like we've kind of looked over our stats a little bit but we haven't really looked at pitching I, I feel like every time i've gone over some stats it's always been the hitters so i just want to just want to glance just want to see how everybody's doing because i don't even know we got giolito he's looking pretty good it says he's cold how are you cold when you have 78 strikeouts in 60 innings and your era is under three keichel doing pretty much what keichel seems to do low era low strikeouts seven and two lance lynn he's that's not that bad his strikeouts are kind of low rodon yeah that seems about right and cease yeah that seems about right too what about the bullpen ronaldo lopez seems to be doing pretty solid for a long relief guy crochet Man, they don't they don't pitch with crochet a lot. Matt Foster though, he's he's kind of lights out. 16 innings, 0.54 ERA. Cody Hoyer, <laughs> exact opposite. What about Scott Alexander? The new guy still hasn't allowed a run, but doesn't seem to be used that often. Aaron, but what is anybody used out of the bullpen? I mean, 
we're like 40 something games in and Matt Foster and Lopez are the only ones so far with more than 10 innings pitched. Marshall has four and then Liam Hendricks with 11. He's got 10 saves, two blown though. And his ERA 4.91. What is going on? Madrigal is playing like an animal though since I moved him to the leadoff spot. He was already playing good and now he's just stepped it up even further. Batting 374 out of the leadoff spot. And he's even got eight doubles and a bomb to go with it. And this is a guy that we could have boosted, and I didn't get anything. Alright, let's let's get into this twins moment here. Let's retake the division, get that Luis Robert game out of my head. Palos have put together a pretty strong first couple of months. For more on that, here's Heidi. Matt, this club star has been in line with the expectations put on them entering the season, but these players insist that they have so far only scratched the surface of how good they can be. They say their focus is on continuing to improve, eliminating mistakes, and trying to bring their best to the field every single game. And, well, that sounds like a good formula. Is it just me, or did Luis Robert look like he was, like, trying to hide a fart or something? Okay, so I can't hit now. Oh my god, dude. What is happening? That's a hanger. I gotta line that. Line it to right field. Leury, though. Please get down. Oh, what? No! That was a gapper all the way. Alright, well, we got Scott Alexander in here now to keep this one where it's at. Awesome start. Is that Jose in right? What are we doing? Hold on. What is this lineup today? Luis Robert DHing Abreu in right. Just just flip him. And Collins is at first. Just just mm. Collins DH Robert to right or center. Yeah, why is Eaton in center? Hang on, what? Okay, I guess this makes a little bit more sense. It must have been an off day for both Luis Robert and Abreu. And I guess the CPU decided we needed to pinch run for Danny Mendick and then pinch hit for Adam Engel. Alright, I think this is what I'm going to do just because we can't have Jose Abreu in right. Because who knows what his fielding is going down to being out of position. So I think I'm going to move him to first. We're going to move Leuri to right. And then this was Tim Anderson's off day, it seems. So we'll put Tim Anderson in at short for Zach Collins now. And then I think that means Tim Anderson will lead off the next inning. Okay, we're good now. Oh, and Grandal couldn't get up. <laughs> if he sprung out of his squat position, we would have had a double play there. Alright, that'll keep him at second. There we go. Yeah, yeah, no chance I'm facing Nelson Cruz. Now with the base open and his run not mattering. Alright, now we're going to bring in Hoyer to face Sano. Play the matchup here. There we go, one pitch pop-up Grandal should be able to make that play. And we've sent this one to extras. Alright, now let's, let's, let's finish this before anything else dumb happens. Oh. oh, and it's nowhere near deep enough to move him up. Why am I under these sliders so much? Oh my god! Is nothing gonna go my way this episode? Oh, and then Sano's making gold glove plays. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay. That keeps him at second. That's good. I feel like Kepler always murders me, especially in March to October. So I think I'm going to do the same thing here with one out. Try and set up the double play here. Especially with Cody Hoyer's main pitch being a sinker, we might be able to spin one here. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Quick turn, Madrigal. Nice job. Managerial tactics. No. Hit the ball hard. Okay. I'm not sure if that's good or not because that just sets up the double play now for us. 
Well, that's not going to do anything, is it? Ow. Oh, just barely couldn't get around on it. This isn't good. I mean, Hoyer's thrown six pitches, so I'm just going to stick with him. He's got plenty left in the tank. That is huge, assuming Anderson gets there, and he does. Okay. Yes, dude, huge strikeout. Corey, Co uh, what's his name? No. No. Oh, we were doing so well. Ah, one pitch left just slightly over the middle of the plate. I mean, I didn't deserve to win that. I, I was awful at the plate. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That's a lot of snowflakes. Yeah, we're about to hit a major rough patch here. This might be ugly. How bad is this gonna look? How bad is this gonna look on? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let's just, let's just get through it. Let's just get through this. We still pick up two games against the Yankees. There we go. This one might actually help. Oh wait. This isn't a, this isn't a fast track. This is just a call up. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna call him up here. I just don't see enough of a benefit. All right, what's gonna happen here? We get a we get a game. All right, so we're two back now in the division. We've got to make a comeback starting in the eighth, down one. And man, I think I think things have to end there. This this one might be on the shorter side. I definitely didn't play as much game as I normally do. But I just I think we need a bit of a reset here. I don't think it's it's gonna help anybody if I try to hop into another game. So we're going to put this one off for the next one, hopefully reset the mojo. So then that'll do it for me in this one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see the rest of this White Sox March to October. But for now, yeah, this is where I'm going to leave things. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.